An early report card on student grades during the pandemic shows there is cause for concern. The number of D's and F's are up at schools all across the state. Our ABC 10 reporter Adam Rakuzin spoke with parents, teachers and an expert who believes that schools need to take the stress out of grading. Nine months into the coronavirus pandemic and some parents are just done with distance learning. Best case scenario, I'd like to get my child back in the classroom. Amanda McLean's five year old daughter is a student at LR Green Elementary School in Escondido. There is very minimal interaction between children and teachers within the classroom. And yet our children are thriving far better in that setting than they are on Zoom. Early progress reports from some secondary schools across the state seem to back up that statement. In November, the Vista Unified School District released its six week progress report for all of its high schools. The number of F's up more than 200% from last year. In late October, the Carlsbad Unified School District released an eight week progress report and a similar finding. F grades increased by more than 300%. At one of the largest high school districts in the state, Sweetwater Union High School District, D's and F's are also up. District data shows the most impacted English learner students and students that are socioeconomically disadvantaged. The pandemic is illuminating for us how these traditional practices are so inapplicable and so unhelpful and actually punishing students for things outside their control like a pandemic. Joe Feldman is the head of Crescendo Education Group. He believes districts need to change the way they grade students, starting with removing the environmental factors students can't control. And then what they have to do is they have to think about, well, are we able to deliver the instruction in the way that we want? And are we able to really accurately assess what students know? Some districts say they released early progress report data as a proactive step to help students with support and intervention immediately. In uh, San Luis Obispo County. You know, comparing last year's data in fall uh, pre-COVID to this year's data during uh, the distance learning, uh, we're very concerned about uh, what we're seeing. Rick Mayfield is the Director of Learning and Achievement for the San Luis Coastal Unified School District. Preliminary data shows a 5 to 15 percent increase in D's and F's depending on the school. Mayfield says educators need to find a balance between rigorous learning and understanding they're in the middle of a pandemic. So it's not an option for any district to just say, yeah, well, there's nothing we can do about the pandemic and let's just move forward. You know, we're, we're developing a robust learning recovery plan to get kids back up to speed. Adam Arcusen, ABC 10 News. The state's second largest school district, San Diego Unified, says it has not released grade data as of yet. For educational resources, go to our website, 10news.com, and click on the rebound.